Okay guys, I got the legs pretty well uh, all set. Let me flip the screen out here so I can see where we're at. Uh, I got those uh, pipes welded to the angle iron. Got them all secured in place. Uh, got everything cleaned up down on the corners. And got everything squared up, got my clamps in place. Measured from all four corners of the legs to make sure that they were equal. And got my uh, magnets in place to make sure that they're square to the angle iron that they're sitting on. So with that all uh, squared up and sitting in place, I'm going to go ahead and get those tacked in. Hang on. We'll get those done. Nothing's moved. That's right where it's supposed to be. Take you off the stand there for just a second. Sorry for the shaky cam. Uh, as you can see, the uh, magnets and everything are holding it pretty well in place with the uh, clamps as well. Everything's sitting square to each other. I still haven't got the casters to uh, put on the bottom of the feet yet to make it roll around, but once I uh, pick those up tomorrow, I'll get the pivot bolts machined and uh, be ready to finish up the assembly. There's also a, a stretcher bar which goes between these two pipes to keep the legs from uh, spreading out from each other. I've got to go run through my scrap pile and figure out what I'm going to uh, use for that. But I'll uh, go around, finish welding up all the way around these legs where they uh, meet the angle iron and get those done. I'll have to do a little bit of time just to make sure I don't warp anything. Here's the uh, brace the actual folding part that goes at the top. I went down through there and got it welded up pretty securely and got it all uh, ground down flush. So uh, there's a couple of brackets that weld to it and then there's bolts that go through those to sandwich the metal whenever you're using it and they actually go into those nuts that are underneath the legs. Then there's the uh, third part which is the moving part of the angle iron which is this piece over here. That's the ones that uh, get the pivot points mounted on them whenever I get those machined up tomorrow. So I'll uh, go ahead and turn the camera back off and get this stuff welded up and I'll bring you guys back when I'm done. See you later. Hey guys, I finally got my pins back today from the machine shop. They took and uh, machined the rabbit in the ends of both of them and now they're going to sit on the corners of the uh, main frame. So I'm going to uh, turn the camera off for just a minute and get both of these positioned on here with some clamps and uh, go ahead and get everything finished up starting to attack weld this and should about be able to finish getting this thing uh, put together this evening so uh, stand by and I'll bring you guys back here in just a minute okay guys I'm back sorry for the noise I'm getting ready to start welding and I found my blower fan so that I can keep all the fumes and stuff pushed away from me Here's a little bit closer up idea of the way these, uh, hang on a second. The way these pins fit on here, they said it's very important to make sure that they're sitting flush on both surfaces. 
so that they sit parallel with the uh, angle iron, the way it's going on both sides. So I've got them both jigged in place, and I'm going to put you on the tripod and go ahead and get these welded up. I'm not going to be able to talk a whole lot because I don't think you guys can hear me over the fan, so uh, I'll be back with you in just a moment. that cool for a minute. It emphasizes not to get this stuff too hot. So I got some pretty good tacks on there. Let them cool for a little while. And once they've cooled off, I'll go back and I'll get them welded on solid. They also recommend in the instructions to uh, leave the clamps in place on here. If you notice, I also took some electrical tape and uh, covered up the ends where the hinge pins are going to go, where the uh, pieces of metal actually pivot on there so that uh, I don't have to worry about damaging the uh, actual surface of it. The camera's not wanting to come back out. But uh, anyway, we'll keep going on this, uh, give that a chance to cool off just a little bit, and we'll uh, put the brackets and stuff on there and keep uh, putting everything together. So I'll be back with you here in just a minute. Stand by.